episode 300. Episode 300. Why do I want it to be this man right here? Why do I want it to be the Callahan death machine, the worldwide desperado, the draw? Why do I need it to be Sammy Callahan? And that's that's the difference. This isn't a want anymore. Because, yes, I have wanted to speak with this man on a podcast since I started doing podcasts over five, six years ago. But now it isn't a want anymore. This is a need because I want to show that my resume of work, what I've done, especially with this podcast, because, yes, I've done other podcasts before. I've done different platforms before. But what Respect the Craft has done to be able to make it, to 300 episodes. That's what I want all of you to understand because this wasn't supposed to be something that got this far. So Sammy, why do I want you to be episode 300? Because you know what? Let's take it back. Let's take it back to the year 2009, 2010 with a promotion known as JAP. That's where I got to see a young Sam McCallahan. Getting to see what you would do as a member of the Switchblade Conspiracy. Getting to see you from there tear it up in JAP. Tear it up with different partners in JAP as well. And tear it up at CZW. Years later, continuing on to get to see you go head to head with one Fit Finley. And prove that you belong. Prove that you can be at that level that it takes to go to the pinnacle of this business. And you would make it there. For those that knew you, knew who you were, and knew no matter what label or what name that was put in front of you, it was the Sammy Callahan we knew. So Solomon Crow, yes, Solomon Crow, though the name. And the character, unfortunately, had a short stay. You still were there. You did what you had to do to make it to that level. And when, unfortunately, it felt almost as if it was stagnant, you decided to do something that is almost unheard of, especially at that time. And that is bet on yourself and go back to the scene that you were thriving in. And bet on Sammy Callahan. And the next night, you did just that. And it became the era of the Callahan death machine once more. It became the era of proving that you are the draw. And getting to see you, getting to see you Year finally meet you in person, I believe a year after that, and see just what you could do in that ring right there, front row. That meant everything. Now, years later, I've gotten to meet you more times, speak with you in person, pick your brain, and every time it's learning something. From watching you compete in that ring to the mindset you have for this business. And it's one of the reasons not only have you been one of my favorite wrestlers for over a decade now. But one of the reasons you are one of the people I look up to in this business, Sammy Callahan. So for this podcast to be something I call it, respect the craft for a reason. I respect the hell out of you, Sammy Callahan. I respect you, I respect what you've done for this business, and I've said it time and time again to anyone, especially that has also been influenced by you and to those that work alongside you. What you've done with Wrestling Revolver is truly something, again, insane. It is not just another indie, it has become something that is truly a, just a whole nother entity in this business. So Sammy Callahan, do me the honor. Be the very special guest and let's have a chat. Let's sit down, talk all things Sammy Callahan and let me give you the flowers that you deserve. Let me tell you what you mean to the industry, what you mean to myself 
and be episode 300. Let me achieve that dream that I've had when it comes to this and get to say, I got to sit down with Sammy Callahan. So there you go, Sammy. The ball's in your court. Episode 300. What do you say? Is it thumbs up or is it thumbs down?